Welcome back. My goodness, you almost missed this video. This video is going to be a banger. So a couple months ago, we did a lesser version of this. We did the Nine Realms fighting on a Yggdrasil map, much like this. But this one is so much more detailed and bigger, and I cannot wait to see how this plays out. It's also full of characters. We got Heimdall, Thor, Loki, Malekith, all these other names that I'm not going to pronounce. My boy Fenrir's in here. We got Odin, King of Asgard. Bro, we got accuracy in here. So, the Nine Realms of Norse mythology. We got Midgard, which is Earth. They actually made it look kind of like Earth this time, so that's cool. I live right over here somewhere. We got Helheim, Land of the Dead. Don't worry, they're being watched over by Hell. We got Svartalfheim down here, Black Elves on this side, and then we have the Dwarves on this side. So this will be interesting to see play out because in this realm there are black elves and there are dwarves i think they're technically more like underground or like in hiding uh, in like the caves and stuff but um yeah so that'll be fun to see who wins this region there's also little caves full of shinies Ooh, and don't forget fafnir back here the like dragon worm guy so don't piss him off i tell you what he's killed once and he'll kill again over here we got jotunheim land of giants they are looking particularly giant, this one especially. Yeah, they've got sort of a chaotic region. It'll be interesting to see how they, like, make this work. Um, but I think that I've got confidence in them. They were the absolute MVPs last time. They did not back down last time. I tell you what, they were, like, holding on for dear life and beating everyone up that tried to invade them. It was kind of awesome. Up here we got Niflheim, which is just land of ice and mist. And Scuddy in here. Or Scotty? Scotty? Hey, Scotty. Um, so we're not putting anyone in here because it's just frozen wasteland but someone can move in here and take it if they want that is fair game we got vanaheim the like other gods the veneer so they've also got some powerful people in here uh i guess just njord he's like the god of sailing or the sea or something so it makes sense he's got all this beachfront property and then of course notorious asgard heimdall Odin. Oh, frig. We got Thor. And also, Loki's in here somewhere. We've also got Rutatiskir, which I don't think that's how you pronounce it. I pronounce it too much like a Pokemon name. But in the mythology, it's actually like a giant squirrel that runs up and down the tree to deliver messages to Nidhogg down here, which is like a dragon and stuff like that. I don't know. I'm not super familiar with everything, but I know just enough to sound like I do. Okay, Alfheim. Land of the Elves, I'm sure you could have guessed that. But they got Freyr, and I um, think that's it. Yeah, but look at this cool thing. I don't know what it is, but it looks cool. Very cool. So this was a great looking realm, honestly. I'm I'm rooting for Alfheim. I love how this looks. They got a lot of good land, too. We'll see what they do with it. And then, of course, Muspelheim, Land of Fire. And so it is, you know? Full of demons. Um, anyway, uh, and then we down here we've got the well, Erd's well, uh, and these three ladies, druids in this case. And, uh, yeah, so pretty, uh, pretty much a lot going on here. Oh, also, uh, main and soul, which is just sun and moon, um, and skull in addition to hati. All right. Let's get this show on the road, shall we? Crank up the speed a little bit. I don't know about you guys, but I'm from Midgard. All right, I got a little home team spirit here. I gave them a pretty good starting population. They got no special traits or anything. They just are, you know? They're just people. We're just people. I don't know about you guys, but I don't walk around feeling like I got any special traits. At most, I've got one. And content is probably not it. Alfheim's population is growing so fast. They're up to 142 because they have so much land and they're the elves, which in this game repopulate really fast and have such long lives. So that looks good for them. I actually would be down for that. They don't really have a lot of traits helping them out, like being strong, but maybe with just sheer numbers, they can do some do some damage. Also, you can probably see this, but every realm is connected with like a little skinny river so they can take boats through. I also made sure there's a couple walking paths to get out of your region, um, like here, for instance. If anyone wants to like, I don't know, walk, that'd be the worst way to do it because there's really nowhere to walk. But I wanted to give people some options, you know, because we know how people can be kind of dumb with the boats. Oh, someone is, what is that? Planning an alliance with 
Asgard. Don't tell me you're gonna ally with them, but only to get a strategic advantage, right? You're gonna gain their trust, learn their secrets, and then strike them, right? That's the plan, right? Nothing wrong with, like, Asgard. Like, if they win, cool. But I think, uh, I think Vanaheim won last time. Obviously, much different circumstances, a way different map, so who knows? But, uh, last time, we had the humans, like, set up camp not here because the map was different but basically here where they just set up camp like right outside of asgard and they were just like building up an army like right away so the fact that they allied is already very different so we'll see what happens there these two kingdoms are interesting i feel like they have not done anything yet 37 and 30 they're keeping it really small and granted they don't have that much land to work with but one of them is gonna have to take over the other one so that they can make it like an entirely their region so whether it's the dwarves or the dark elves we'll see but the Dark Elves, they've got Melikith, so... And these guys just got Dane over here with his stone sword. What are you gonna do with that? Slap them with it? Actually, getting hit with a stone sword would actually hurt pretty bad. You know what Midgard needs to make this fair? They need the World Serpent. Let's put him here. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, little cute little world serpent. Uh, make him giant. Give him super health. This isn't gonna do anything actually. But let's go ahead and uh, move him in here. There you go. The world serpent. Fear him, for he is an unfathomably large sea serpent who dwells in the world sea, encircling the earth and biting his own tail. When it releases its tail, Ragnarok will begin. The final battle of the world. But, you know, he's kind of cute too. Alright, I need someone to declare war. Alfheim at 210. Dang, there's even a river that goes to the moon. So technically someone could set up camp on the moon. And uh, it looks like, I guess, someone could set up camp on the sun, but only along this edge here. So I don't know if I'd recommend building a base on the sun, but at the same time, I'd love to see someone try it. You know? Wouldn't you love to see that? Okay, Midgard is expanding. Looks like they just moved their way over to what we would call North America. Uh, they got Europe, Asia, Africa, no one in South America. But they've just taken North America and, of course, Australia. But they'll get there eventually. Do my eyes deceive me? Midgard is about to declare war. But on who? Midgard has declared war on Alfheim? No. <laughs> my people versus my favorites. Village Valhalla was destroyed? Huh? By what? The crabs? The crabs destroyed Valhalla? I don't know if that's very accurate. Okay, this is a bummer. Now, to be fair, if these two kingdoms were actually gonna win against someone, it'd be each other, because they're both kind of non-special, you know? So Midgard attacking Alfheim, like, if they can take it, good for them. They got a bunch of new really good land. But it's just sad to see, you know? I like these guys. They're doing some damage out here, man. It's sad. 170, now they're at 214. Surprised they're the only war going on right now. You think that, like, these two would have a lot of motivation to take each other down? But I don't know, man. Jotunheim's kind of just stuck back here. I don't know if they technically can. Oh, yeah, they could build a dock over here. They'll get around to it, maybe. Oh, over here, too. Come on, guys. Let's see what you could do. Okay, 210. They're kind of holding strong. That worries me a little bit that we're just gonna get in like an endless war. But uh, you know what? Someone else will swoop in. Someone else like Asgard, for instance. The elves are destroying them. I don't know, man. I don't know if this is the best move. I think at least finish taking over your own world first before you travel across space to a different realm, you know? But you know what? Us humans, am I right? We see something we want, and we're like, eh, let's go get that. Dang, they're taking the long way around, too. Look at that. <laughs> All that way to drop off, like, two people that just died instantly. They're really going for it, though. In fact, they used up all their army, but they're still attacking very aggressively. They're wasting their armies, too. <laughs> they, like, train five new people how to use weapons, and like, all right, you're ready to fight. We're gonna sail you through Asgard to get to Alfheim so that you can die instantly. Not a good gig. Okay, looks like they're gonna declare peace. All right, yeah. Okay, there we go. Vanaheim just declared war on Asgard. The two, like, god kingdoms are gonna fight. This is what we want. This is what we're here to see, all right? Although, in this world vanaheim's pretty like mid wait no midgard's pretty mid <laughs> vanaheim's not that strong in this world it's mostly asgard that's so strong so we'll see uh, we'll see what happens with that vanaheim's getting attacked by asgard what was that you're telling me you're gonna take this route oh is this midgard just goofing off okay sure do whatever you want asgard has worked their way all the way down to the end of the bifrost though they're like 
inches away from Midgard. If they declare war on Midgard, I feel like they're done for. But then again, 300 versus 130? Who's also at war? Wait a minute. Oh, Midgard and Vanaheim are fighting. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, I was like, who's attacking them? Okay, well, like, they're doing fine. They're gonna be okay. Midgard's, like, pretty weak. But if Asgard decides to do something, literally anything, um, then everyone else will be in trouble. I just realized that this river was not connected to the rest of it, so I just connected it. Because I was like, why aren't they going this way? And then I realized that the dock is over here and they can't get up, so there we go. They're going. You dropped them off on the wrong side of the river, you stupid idiot. <laughs> what are they supposed to do from there? What are they supposed to do? Whoa, no way. They just joined Asgard. How did that even happen? They got stuck and they- Oh, that's how that happened. The entirety of Vanaheim just joined Asgard because they got taken over. Who is this? Who did that? Oh, Njord, bro, you didn't even fight them. You just joined them. Dang, they wiped them out so quick. I have angry villagers on, so there's more people fighting. But even still, they were able to wipe them out so quick. Okay, well, that is really bad news for... Well, it's not terrible news, but it kind of is. Yeah, Asgard is becoming strong. Our first kingdom was eliminated. Vanaheim, who won last time. So we are already on a completely different path. Okay, Midgard has declared war on Alfheim again, and someone just killed the snake? A lady named Gui with a bow killed the world snake? Are you kidding me? Well, nice going. You just started Ragnarok. It's now the end of the world. And oh, the dwarves down here declared war on the Dark Elves. So war is finally upon them. I don't know if they know. Oh yeah, they're loading up boats right here. This is it, boys. Do it, come on. King Malekith, you going with them? Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> wait, 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 for real though. Oh, is that an Asgard boat? What the heck? Why was he down here? All right, well, I don't know if they'll figure out how to fight each other or not, but we'll, we'll figure that out. Okay, Alfheim just dropped from, like, what, 400 down to 200? Or 300 down to 200? Oh, wait, Asgard's here too? This really is Ragnarok. Asgard's attacking Alfheim, so is Midgard. Svartalfheim and Nidavellir are fighting each other. Jotunheim is just sitting here stuck in their nightmare of a mountain biome. And then, yeah, the Vanir are dead. And Nidhogg? He's been having bad dreams. He hasn't been sleeping so well. Well, kind of sad, right? Are they actually fighting? Are you guys actually fighting? Don't tease me like that, all right? Are you guys actually gonna fight? They have the most direct line. They've got a, a route here, here. They can literally just go across this little canal here. Just fight, will ya? I also like that they declared war and they were like, haha, all right, get ready for war. Let's all hide in the cave. Yeah, that makes sense. Dang, Alfheim is gone, pretty much. They got, uh, who's out here? Loki's out here, and then I think I saw someone else down here. Thor's down here as well. Okay, yeah, they sent the big guns in for this one. The humans are all here like, we helped. Yeah, we really helped. Me and my wood sword. Now they gotta take down the Alfheim champion before they rebuild the town. What are you doing? Why'd you stop fighting? You gotta take down the champion. Why, why did you stop fighting? There you go. There you go. Stop them. Sword versus bow. I feel like this could be bad. Oh, it's Loki. He's got almost full health. He's fine. He's chilling. Come on. Man, this is so intense. Two gods fighting. Oh, Freyr. Uh, game over. Okay, so that, that was the end of Alfheim. And, you know, I thought maybe Midgard would take this region over, but I have a feeling that uh, Asgard's gonna take it, which would be really bad. Whoever takes this region's gonna have a good time because there's a lot of great land here. Are you guys seriously still not fighting? Do you not know how? Like, I get, like, the dwarves over here don't have a dock yet for some reason, but the elves do. And we watched them load up a boat with an army that they just... I think it must be this boat. They just don't know what to do. Okay, Midgard's doing pretty well. They've gone outside of their realm, and they're now by Erd's Well, which is cool. They've taken over this whole lower area. Jotunheim has still not figured out how to build a dock. I keep, like, adjusting this land to see to make sure that they can get over here, but I think that they just don't want to. Okay, um, yeah, so Asgard took over Alfheim. That's a big, scary thing to happen. Oh, hold up, though. What's this? No way. Are they walking the long way round? <laughs> okay, Svartalfheim, the Black Elves, they're coming from the back door. The war has begun, finally. I don't know why they didn't take the boat across the small little lake here, but, uh, yeah, now they're getting their butts kicked. All right, well, the war rages on. So they boated to here, dropped off their people, who then walked all the way around. Just boat them to here, right? Just boat them from there to there, right? That makes sense to me. Where are you going? You're kidding me. This is the strategy you came up with? All right, don't let me get in your way. 
Good luck to you. Also, hell is outside of Helheim? Also, what the? Midgard, what are you doing, guys? You can't set up a camp in hell. I mean, you can, but do I need to explain to you why that's not a very good idea? I mean, I hope it works out for you. I really do. I don't see how this could possibly go wrong. As long as you don't get cursed. Oh, no. They're cursed. Okay. How are you guys doing over here? Any second now, I'm going to see a dock. I can feel it. This whole fight down here has just been embarrassing to watch. So I'm just going to do something controversial here. I'm just going to connect the land. All right, let's just stop goofing around. There you go. See, technically you could always have done that. Asgard has just declared war on Midgard. Oh, no. <laughs> and they've got almost just as much population, too. They're just also way stronger. This is gonna hurt. Hey, what are you doing out? You're supposed to be guarding the sun. How'd you even get out? Oh. Huh? Did you swim? How did you get out? Suspicious. Asgard's taking over Canada right now. Boom. Yeah, I feel like this is gonna be quick. They just took over South America. Huh? Why did it just say that he killed the world snake? Didn't that die like forever ago by someone else? Am I losing my mind? Yeah. Was there already one? Huh? I'm so confused. All right, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's Ragnarok 2. I don't even think they've sent any of the gods down here yet. This is just regular soldiers. Thor's not even involved yet, guys. You should not be losing this bad in your own home. Oh, who's this? Thor's here. <laughs> oh, no. All right, Thor. Yeah, he's, uh, he's killing everybody. I don't know what I or you expected to happen, but yeah, he's killing everybody. Even, uh, oh my gosh, his army just showed up. Okay, yeah, that's gonna be GG for Midgard, I think. Oh, hold up, though. They're fighting back. Nope. They're dead. Aha, but Midgard has a secret weapon. You forgot, didn't you? Not only do they have Erd's well, but they have a secret base of operations in the land of the dead. Yeah, they're growing crops down there, all right? Is it stupid? Is it genius? I don't know. I honestly don't know. They, like, swapped heroes. The King Dane is over here on the elf side, and then um, Melikith is down here on the dwarf side. Although he's looking kind of low health, to be honest. Sheesh. Get him. They're hurting him. I don't know if they'll kill him anytime soon because they're running out of people to fight. But with both powerful beings being on each side, <laughs> although King Dane is doing noticeably worse. So we'll see. They're just punching him right into the mountains. Um, Let's see. Yeah, so Midgard is done for. I think this does not look good for everyone else. Um, Jotunheim still hasn't figured out how to build a dock. And I'm getting a little tired of helping them. But what's one more time? Smooth out the coast here. Maybe it's just too bumpy for them or something. You never know. There you go. Now think about it, all right? What does all this water make you want to do? Huh. Yeah, Midgard is weirdly enough, like, lasting a lot longer down here than I would have thought. I mean, now they've pissed off hell. And uh, it's looking kind of bad. But, like, the fact that this whole village has even made it this far is just baffling to me. I don't understand it, but uh, I mean, maybe if they bring Asgard down here and then they all get cursed, they can at least take some of them down with them, you know? Skeleton Thor? How's it going over here, guys? Oh, Melikith is down here with 500 health left, but the kingdom is almost dead. Like, he's almost finished off the kingdom by himself. It's just someone needs to just whack him, but there's only kids left. Kind of messed up. It's just King Dane. They need to have a little showdown. Oh, he's going back. He's going back for King Dane. Oh, he's going to go to sleep. Does that heal him? I need you to fight King Dane. Where are you going? It's not time to go back and work in the mines. You were in the middle of wiping out your rival kingdom. There we go. There we go. Melikith versus King Dane. I think King Dane's got a lot more health. He's got about half health still. Melikith has 167 kills. <laughs> Yikes, dude. Oh, come on, just hit him once. Oh, Nidavellir was destroyed. They must have killed Dane. Oh, wait, Dane is still here. He just snuck away somehow? What, 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 what is going on here? Dane's still at it, and Melikith is here to stop him. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Melikith is like one shot from dying. Here comes Dane. How is Melikith still alive, honestly? I mean, there's not many people left to stop him, but the fact that he's hanging out at so little health is crazy. If Dane can kill all these little people and get one hit on Melikith, no way. No way. Dane just killed Melikith. Okay, so the his kingdom's gone, but he is the last surviving member, and he killed pretty much the main reason why they were even a threat. So if he can... Oh, look at that. Just like that. If he can clear it out and start over, like, they can't really stop them as easily if he's here. So, I mean, they're still in this fight. It's 1 to 82, but that one is King Dane. Okay, so it looks like this side of the Midgard Helheim village is destroyed. That was the side that was doing well. And now the side that's a mess is uh, about to be wiped out, looks like. So yeah, I mean, it played out just how we imagined it would. But somehow they just made it further than I thought they would. 
It was pretty weird to watch. Midgard is taking back their realm from Asgard? Huh? How is this even possible? Look at them, they're doing it. They're taking over another one. Dude, what the heck is going on here? Keep it going, boys. We gotta stop Asgard. They're still at 1,100 population versus just under 200, but uh, the fact that they were able to take so much of it is just, you know, kind of sick. Good for you guys. I mean, it's not gonna work out. You're gonna get obliterated any second now, but like, good work, you know? King Dane is down here just fighting off the entirety of the Dark Elves, and I think he got a little greedy because he's on their land, and he's pretty much facing their entire army. Oh, he got pushed over the mountains into, like, a cave, and he's stuck now. That doesn't seem very fair, so we're gonna go ahead and, um, we're gonna let him out. Oh, he's gonna go harvest berries now. Oh, Midgar was destroyed. Unprovoked conquest has ended. Appropriate name. Okay, so Asgard is killing everybody. Jotunheim just built their first dock. Congratulations. I'm really proud of you guys. You figured it out. It's just like, you know, a little bit late, I would say. Just a little bit, you know. Asgard's taken over, you know, three realms and the moon itself. But yeah, you know, maybe you'll maybe you'll step in and intervene. Maybe you're the hope that they needed. Oh, looks like not, because Asgard is just on a conquest to rule the galaxy at this point. So we'll see how this goes, because um, we haven't seen Jotunheim fight yet. So maybe they're just secretly super powerful and smart and stuff. But I'm going to say from what we've seen, probably not. Is this it? Is this the army boat? Is this the boat that's going to end them? Oh, there's already other boats coming in here. Oh, wait a second. They just sent a boat. Where'd that boat go? I want to know. Imagine. Oh, <laughs> I mean, just what we expected. Okay, they've got they got one powerful person in here. Let's see how much they can do. Uh, I'm gonna say probably not very much. I was imagining the uh, Jotunheim boat just like attacking the heart of Asgard. You know, just imagine like they're all fighting over here, and we're like, dang, it looks like they're wiped out. And there's just one like SEAL Team Six group of Jotunheim giants just right in the middle of Asgard, just destroying everyone. That would have been a sweet little thing at the end there. But uh, yeah, Jotunheim, they did so well last time, but they were like pretty much the opposite this time. They just like were so awkward and they took literally until the very end to even make a dock. And it's not because they couldn't, like they definitely could. Like if they had everything they needed to do it, the space for it and everything. And they eventually did, just way too late. Okay, Asgard's wiping out Svartalfheim and then it's pretty, it's just King Dane left, dude. King Dane is the only person left that's not Asgard. And he's just hanging out with all these dudes. The good ending. Let's leave it at that, shall we? Oh, he's like fighting with them to, to fight Fafnir? Dude, he's their friend. I don't know if they're gonna defeat Fafnir or not. It's gonna take them a very long time. But uh, yeah, this is the good ending. And look, they're forming an alliance. Wait, Jotunheim's over here too? What a chaotic ending. How did Jotunheim get over here? Svartalfheim like just got eliminated like five seconds prior. And Jotunheim's like, I'll take that. I think my favorite character in this thing probably obviously is King Dane here. What a absolute champ. He single-handedly kept his kingdom alive, defended it for forever, outlived Svartalfheim, and then just sort of joins forces with the uh, Asgardians, and now he's just kind of helping out fighting Fafnir. And Jotunheim's here. How is Fafnir still alive, dude? Please, stop him. Okay, Jotunheim's officially gone. Is this King Dane right here? Who is King Dane at right now? Okay, there's Loki. King Dane's down here just hanging out with the Asgardians, just setting up some camps for his future people. He's still alone, but uh, he knows that someday he'll have people again. Gotta go gather some berries. What a champ, dude. All right, can you guys kill Fafnir so we can end this thing? Goodness gracious, man. What a tank. <laughs> nice work, you killed him. Way to go. All right, well, GG's. I'm gonna end it here. I know we could let Asgard fight King Dane, but I think I like the idea that they let him live because he was a chill dude and, uh, you know, he just wanted to, he just wanted to survive. Or maybe he's alone now, but he's got friends. He's got the rat. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Pretty sweet map. I'll link the map in the description on Steam Workshop so you can go check it out yourself. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye.